Hello, we thank EDA for selecting our abstract for this presentation entitled Clinical Validation of the Implanted Prevascularized Cell Pouch as a Viable Safe Site for Diabetes Cell Therapy. Cellular transplantation therapy may be used to treat severe chronic diseases such as type 1 diabetes. The location of the transplant site is a major factor affecting the successful clinical outcomes. Currently, the transplantation of insulin-producing islets is a cellular replacement therapy used to treat patients who are unable to control their blood glucose levels and can experience life-threatening severe hypoglycemia unawareness. The cell pouch is a scalable, implantable, and retrievable medical device designed to develop a healthy vascularized tissue environment for transplantation and engraftment of therapeutic cells, which release the desired proteins and hormones for the treatment of diabetes and other diseases. We have extensive small and large animal safety and efficacy non-clinical studies consistently showing that the cell pouch can be used as a safe alternative site for transplantation. A physician-sponsored first-in-human study was conducted at the University of Alberta, and currently Cernova has an ongoing company-sponsored study at the University of Chicago. In our studies, patients with type 1 diabetes were implanted with the cell pouch in an area under the skin where vascularized tissue develops through the pores around removable plugs. After patients were placed on immunosuppression, islets were isolated from donor pancreata and transplanted by removing the plugs in the cell pouch and therapeutic islets placed into the chambers. Following islet engraftment, insulin and other hormones are released to help control blood sugar. A total of nine cell pouches were explanted. Histological sections of the explanted cell pouches were prepared serial sectioned and stained. The slides were imaged and analyzed by an independent clinical pathologist for vascularization, the presence of islets and other endocrine hormones, and exocrine tissue. Islet viability, quality, and overall purity is an important consideration for our transplantation outcomes. When available, an islet aliquot was taken prior to transplant for our analysis. The sample aliquots are handled in the same manner as they would be for transplantation. The clinical pathologist evaluates the pre-transplant samples for comparison to the cell pouch explant. It has been assessed that this cell pouch shows abundant, viable, organized islet cells intimately associated with blood vessels within a collagen matrix after 12 weeks of transplantation. These surviving islet cells strongly express insulin and other endocrine hormones such as glucagon, somatostatin, and C-peptide with similar strongly expressing markers in the pre-transplant samples. This example shows as we section through the cell pouch from A to F, we see similar survival of islets. Based on the detailed analysis of Cernova cell pouches, we can report that the cell pouch demonstrates healthy surviving islets and endocrine cells, proof of the ability to produce hormones that can control blood sugar levels with islets housed in a vascularized tissue matrix. The amount of endocrine and exocrine tissue within the pre-transplant samples was similar to that found within the cell pouches that were explanted and assessed. Thus, what is transplanted into the cell pouch is what is later found in the explanted samples. Here we have two examples of cell pouches explanted approximately six weeks post-transplant with pre-transplant samples. It has been assessed that where present, the islets appear well vascularized with microvessels intimately related to and within islets. Both the number of islet cells and the relative proportions of endocrine and exocrine tissue appear similar to that seen within the pre-transplant sample, and ductal cells appear to outnumber islet cells. What we have learned is that cellular therapies, such as islets, will survive in the cell pouch. Predictive clinical outcomes may be dependent on the quality as well as the purity of cells being transplanted. With these early findings, we have clinically demonstrated that the vascularized cell pouch provides a safe and biologically suitable retrievable environment for the transplantation and survival of functional islets. We continue to build on these findings with the ongoing clinical trial. With this confirmation of cell survival, similar to our preclinical evidence and translated into the clinic, we look forward to clinically testing the cell pouches with other tissues and cell therapies which have been successful in preclinical models and other indications and report on future clinical findings. With new emerging cellular replacement therapies, including stem cell-derived islets, a clinical solution for all patients with diabetes, the unique cell pouch system solves an unmet need towards successful, positive clinical transplant outcome in people with diabetes. 